Hello, and, and welcome to our holiday edition of KSB Reading Conference. Today, we're going to read a story called Santa is Coming to Kentucky. Santa is Coming to Kentucky, written by Steve Smallman. Well, Boom Santa, have all the children from Kentucky been good this year? Well, uh, mostly, answered the little old elf as he bustled across the busy workshop to Santa's desk. Santa peered down at the elf from behind the tall, teetering piles of letters that the children of Kentucky had sent him. Mostly? asked Santa, looking over the top of his glasses. Yes, but they've all been especially good in the last few days, said the elf. Jolly good, chuckled Santa. Then we'd better get their presents loaded up. Santa is sitting at his desk, looking at all of his letters, and talking to his elf, who has a list, has the naughty and nice list. Even the sack of presents was really, really big, and the elves were really, really small, they seemed to have no trouble loading it onto Santa's sleigh, though how they managed to fit such a big sack onto one little sleigh, even they didn't know. But somehow they did. Splendid, boomed Santa. We're ready to go. Uh, not quite, Santa, said the little old elf. One of our reindeer is missing. So there's the elves carrying a really large bag, and they're putting it on top of the sleigh. But Santa's ready, but somebody is not missing. Which reindeer is missing, asked Santa. The youngest one, Santa, said the elf. It's his first flight tonight. I've called him and called him, but... Just then, a young reindeer strolled up, munching on a large carrot. Where have you been, asked Santa. But the youngest reindeer was crunching so loudly that it was no wonder he hadn't heard the little old elf calling. Oh, well, never mind, said Santa, giving the reindeer a little wink. He took out his Santa nav and tapped in the coordinates for Kentucky. This will guide us to Kentucky in no time. Here's a picture of the reindeer crunching on his carrot. With a flick of the reins and a jerk of the harness, off they went, racing through the sky. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. We'll soon have these presents delivered to the bluegrass state. Here's a picture of Santa leading the sleigh away from the North Pole. Santa's sleigh flew through the starry night, heading south across the Arctic Ocean. On, on they flew in the crisp wintry air, crossing over Canada. In the wink of an eye, the sleigh was flying above the Great Lakes and over Ohio. The youngest reindeer was very excited. He had never been away from the North Pole before. And the picture of the sleigh flying over top of the ha houses. They were cr just crossing the Kentucky River when suddenly they ran into a blizzard. Snowflakes whirled around the sleigh. They couldn't see a thing. The youngest reindeer was getting a bit worried, but Santa didn't seem concerned. In two miles, said the Santa nav in a bossy lady's voice, keep left at the next star. But ma'am, Santa blustered, I can't see any stars in all this snow. Soon they were hopelessly lost. So Santa's sleigh is trying to get through all of the fluffy white snow. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Then, through the howling blizzard, the youngest reindeer heard a faint ringing sound. Ding dong! He looked over at the old reindeer with the red nose, but he had his head down. Red nose? I wonder who that could be. There, ding dong, ding dong! There was that sound again, like church bells ringing. The youngest reindeer turned around to look at Santa, but Santa wasn't listening. He seemed to be arguing with a little box with buttons on it. With a flick of the harness and a jerk of the reins, the youngest reindeer gave a sharp tug and headed off toward the sound of the bells, pulling Santa and his sleigh behind him. So Santa and the reindeer are still stuck in the snow. Whoa, cried Santa, pulling his hat straight. What's going on? Then, to his surprise, he heard the ringing sound. Well done, young reindeer, he shouted cheerfully. It must be the Cathedral of the Assumption in Louisville. Don't worry, children, Santa is coming. Then, suddenly, 
Crunch. The sleigh hit something as it plummeted through the snow clouds. You have arrived, said the Santa nav unhelpfully. So Santa is holding on to his hat and there are presents flying everywhere. Finally, when the fog had lifted, Santa discovered exactly where they were, stuck right at the very top of the dome of the Louisville City Hall. Everybody pull! The reindeer pulled with all their might until at last, with a screeching noise, the sleigh scraped clear of the tower and Santa steered them safely over the Science Center, past Louisville Slugger Field, and down into Waterfront Park. Here's a picture of Santa with his sleigh on top of City Hall. Luckily, there was no real damage done, but the packages had been all jumbled up. Santa quickly sorted out the presents into order again. All right, said Santa. Thanks to this young reindeer, I know where we are now. Don't worry, children. Santa is coming. So Santa is near some trees in a park, it looks like, with some park benches and some um, street lights. Santa drove his sleigh expertly from rooftop to rooftop all over Kentucky, popping in and out of chimneys as fast as he could go, which was pretty fast for a chubby fellow. There were big chimneys in Covington and small chimneys in Lexington. He squeezed down thin chimneys in Richmond and plummeted down fat chimneys in Owensboro. The youngest reindeer was amazed at how quickly they went. Santa never seemed to get tired at all. And it looked like the children in Kentucky were going to be very lucky this year. But the youngest reindeer was starting to feel a bit weary and quite hungry too. In house after house, Santa delved inside his sack for packages of every shape and size. He piled them under the Christmas trees and carefully filled up the stockings with surprises. In house after house, the good children of Kentucky had left out a large plate of cookies, a small glass of milk, and a big crunchy carrot. Santa took a little bite out of each cookie, a tiny sip of milk, wiped his beard, and popped the carrots into his sack. So in this picture, first Santa's looking inside of the pack, the bag of packages. Then there's a picture of the Christmas tree and the stockings, a picture of the plate with cookies and milk and ca a carrot, and then a picture of Santa taking, eating his cookie and drinking his milk. From Bowling Green to Florence, from Georgetown to Elizabethtown, from Nicholasville to Hopkinsville, and all the places in between, Santa and his sleigh visited every house in Kentucky. Santa delivered presents to Andrew, Allison, Anna, Arabelle, Archie, Ashley. The list went on and on. Zach, Zara, Zeb, Zoe, Zibble. Zibble? That must be a spelling mistake, surely. In this picture, you can see all kinds of landmarks from Kentucky like the Belle of Louisville and Slugger Field and Daniel Boone National Forest and the Kentucky Bluegrass Museum and Churchill Downs. Finally, Santa had delivered the last present on his long Kentucky list. Great moons and stars, sighed Santa. It's past midnight and my sack seems as heavy as ever. I hope I haven't forgotten anyone. Santa opened his sack to check, but it was full of juicy, crunchy carrots. Santa divided the carrots among all the reindeer. Well done, he said, patting the youngest reindeer gently on the nose, but the youngest reindeer didn't hear him. He was too busy munching. Then it was time to set off for home. Santa reset his Santa nav once more to the North Pole, and soon they were speeding above Fort Knox, past Abraham Lincoln's birthplace, and out over Cumberland Falls through the crisp, starry night. There's a picture of Santa and his reindeer on top of the roof, and Santa's feeding them carrots. Ho, 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 laughed Santa. Merry Christmas, Kentucky. A picture of Santa flying away. The end. This video features the song Christmas Village by Aaron Kinney, available under a Creative Commons license. 
this video was created by KSB Short Course Program, Kirsten Price, protected under a Creative Commons license.